Hey, it's Neil here. Welcome to getting started with the ER301 number 10. And this is actually a really quick video. So what I wanted to outline was, is let's say we're working with multiple units and, or multiple tracks. You know, one of them has a synth, one of them has some effects, and you want them all to clock together, but not from an external source, but from an internal source. Um, so let's say our clock was on track 10 or on track four, sorry. I'm gonna insert a an oscillator. And here's what happened before. So let's say I had this uh, sine wave. I'm gonna add a limit, limiter to it to um, make it more of a gate signal. Chop off the edges there, there we go. Um, the problem before was the actual audio outputs, which are the only outputs of the 301, aren't DC coupled. So if I, let's say I had an oscillator on track one, uh, or let's say I had a clock delay on track one, I want to clock it, go to my source, go to my input. Um, notice how that square wave has been totally messed up, um, which is a problem. But at this point, now, if you can remember, if we go past these guys, we can actually internally digitally patch our output, um, circumventing the A to D, D to A, and there's our perfect square wave. So I can go to our, our clock on track four, I could speed this up really quick, and it's perfect wherever else I need it. Um, it could be pinging a delay, it could be a trigger for a looper, whatever you need um, just to show you here I'll just uh, I'll just ping the reset here so instead of uh, one of our inputs when it was looped I can just go to my output and there it is and there it is we can see what it's being pinged at so just a quick little thing to circumvent some uh, analog electronics and uh, this is really useful if you have clock delays and you have a bunch of uh, loopers triggering in sync. Really cool. Um, yeah, there you go. The shortest video of the bunch so far. Take it easy. Bye.